because when I was a kid, I was probably the biggest Eminem fan that you knew, right? Uh, if you've seen a picture of me when I was fat, I used to have blonde hair. And I didn't tell anybody back then, even though everybody knew, but it was because I was a huge Eminem fan. All right, well, Cisco played a role in that too. Um, but yeah, had the blonde hair and everything, and uh, I, was, I was a huge Eminem stand as a kid, but yeah, the new album, um, The Death of Slim Shady, I don't think it's as bad as some people uh, are saying. Uh, well, to be fair, I think a lot, everything is pretty mixed. Um, I'm more favorable. I do think it's uh, I do think it's some of the best rapping that he's done in a long time because he's not trying to be a beat machine. That's the most important thing. He's actually, you know, he still is for the most part a beat machine, but he's not solely focused on that. Uh, so his music doesn't sound repetitive um, and it doesn't sound mechanical. And I think that's kind of a, been a problem for him the past decade or so. He's been so, this is a very much a self-esteem thing, I think. Uh, and I know I'm psychoanalyzing and I probably shouldn't be doing that, but the, my perception of Eminem is that he's so driven by trying to feel legitimized in the culture that he, his idea of being the best at rapping is to be the best at it technically. And I think that's harmed him in the past several years. And I think this album is, I think this album is good because the rapping is less focused on the technical aspects of rapping. So it makes it more listenable, you know? It's really weird how actually being too good at something or being too precise at something can make it fail as an art, right? Because you want, what makes art great is that imprecision that every human being brings to the canvas, right? Um, like if somebody, we're doing a still life painting of a beautiful uh, piece of foliage, like a tree or something, right? There would be no value if in that, in that image if they just copied it one to one, right? And you could just take a photo of it and you know, have that picture of the foliage. It's, it's, the, it's the person's warped perception of that reality that they bring to the table that brings value to that art. And I think Eminem, maybe still needs to realize that, but I think once he realizes that, his newer music will be, will be more palatable. All right, but along with the nonsense out of the way, yeah, I like the album. Um, I like the concept of the album. I think it's fun to listen to, and I think people that are talking about, you know, the trans issues and stuff like that, and that I, I, I think people are criticizing um, some of the things that Eminem is saying on the album and not getting the concept of the album, which is fine. You know, not everybody's going to be up to date on the premise of, you know, what the album is supposed to be and what it's not supposed to be. But um, yeah, I think it's a very interesting concept and I think it's something, some of his best rapping in a long time. Um, I have Fuel on VP for, you know, the last two weeks. And uh, yeah. Um, also, I think when Eminem hears people say they want to hear the old Slim Shady, I think he has the wrong idea. Um, when people say that, they don't necessarily want the Marshall Mathers LP Slim Shady, uh, or the Eminem show Slim Shady, or the Slim Shady EP Slim Shady. Um, in, terms of, in terms of themes, they just want, you know, they just want to hear somebody that raps because they enjoy rapping and isn't wrapped up in the self-esteem issues um and there was an eminem before slim shady right a lot of people like the infinite era in uh, slim shady so yeah um if i was going to grade it on a scale of one to ten i'm going to give it like a 6.5 or a seven and that and being a huge eminem fan over the years makes him and also he, he's made a very low bar for himself right he's i think he's made terrible music for the past 10 years pretty much unlistenable so all right let me stop yapping all right i have enough time for